Hi there, this is an instructional video tutorial on how to use my home inventory spreadsheet. So this is a super spreadsheet to use. Uh, this is for you to keep track of any valuables you might have in the home. Some people may need this sheet in case you've had an unfortunate accident and you had a total loss of your home and you need to report the valuables that were inside your home. So sometimes it's a good idea to go ahead and keep these a list of this on hand as well as pictures and receipts just in case some sort of accident might happen and you might need to submit a claim to the insurance company for things such as a flood you know tornado horrible things so um and i apologize if any of that bad stuff has happened to you and you need this sheet but i hope this helps you okay so let's start at the top we've got the address of your home and you've got the date you can put the date in you can double click in here and just choose whatever date you have. Okay, on the first column here, we've got a checkbox. So as you check off items that you've gone through, this will cross it off for you. So say you've got a diamond ring, that's your item. You want a description and insurance companies will typically want you to put um, as much of a details as possible about the item. Um, what room that it's put in, uh, so if it's in the bedroom, any other place that your item might be. The purchase date, double click in here, or you can physically just write the date. The brand name. Um, if there's a model number, usually that's for an appliance or that sort of thing. Uh, the cost of the item that you had when you purchased it and the replacement cost if you were to buy it today. Um, so another thing that you can do is you can scan and copy your receipts and create a folder in Google Drive and then have a link to that folder here so that you're, you're able to find all of your scanned receipts in one spot. Same thing for a photos. So if you've taken photos of your item and you can log all of your photos in this folder so you can find it whenever you need it. And then notes here. Um, and then I've got a space here on the very right for insurance company information if you need that as well. Um, so let's just do a sample here. So say we have um, an upright freezer. So this is going to be a stainless steel upright freezer. And I don't really know, I'm not really sure, so please excuse me if I'm wrong, 2,500 cubic feet. Um, and then this would be, say you've got an upright freezer in the garage, you purchased it on in 2020 from Home Depot, model number, um, back then it was $800, today it's a lot more. And if I'm wrong with these prices, please forgive me because I am just guessing right now just to show you how the sheet works. Okay, so that's basically how the sheet works. Um, there is a thousand rows on here um, all the way down so you can keep track. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, there's a total. Um, I've got a total of the cost and a total of the replacement cost all the way at the bottom. So this is column J and K. And if you go all the way to the bottom, you'll see the cost of each one if you needed to know that total. So um, anyways, if you need anything, feel free to reach out. If you found me on YouTube, go in the description and you'll see a link to purchase this spreadsheet. So uh, feel free to reach out.